Hello, and welcome back to WAPO! I don't know if I mentioned it last episode in the boss run thing, I don't think I did, but this is what I've done in insane mode. I am still right here, right where I left off, because I realized I actually do want to show you the WAM house. There, there's the first part with the cleaning up, that's kind of pointless, I'll probably cut that out, but beyond that, I actually did want to try getting told to get a popo chip card within two days and then just rushing up and doing it right away. I do think we have to kill King Cone, if I'm not mistaken. I don't quite exactly know how how that works, right? There is no way to get a popo chip card without killing King Cone, right? You have to kill King Cone, get into the the tube system and then unclog that, right? I believe so, but I'm not 100% positive. But I want to do that in the very first day and then go to Carlo and be like, hey, check it out, I'm leaving. And maybe he has some special line like, wow, I didn't think you would do it that quickly or something. The reason I'm here and didn't just do the, the cleaning section is because I replayed the entire game in Insane. Because... God damn it, I, I gotta fucking try that stupid jellyfish thing. I guess I haven't... I didn't even, like, go in and look at him, but that's fine. Like, I haven't seen the jellyfish. Now I want to see what happens when we get to the final area. I think the jellyfish just, like, doesn't show up. And then you have to come back here and then go back to the jellyfish and then talk to him. So that is, like, one tiny thing that I want to try out in insane mode. And I said you can do that yourself, that's one thing I'll leave up to you, but I changed my mind. I want to do it anyway, because we've come this far. So yeah, for now, we have to get in here, and I'll probably be making some pretty heavy cuts. We'll see. All right, here we go. I've cleaned up and now we get to stay and I have two days and I'm gonna try. Uh, I can just get the bazooka right now, right? Is that worth it to like use that instead of the bucket? Oh man, this fucking Bram guy. I used to like him, now I hate him. Don't want to answer that. Okay, wait, so I want to do... I guess just... This or something? Uh, actually, I'll do two here and then three here. And, yeah, now I, I believe I have to... Uh, I can do Willy's Quiz. No, I can't, because Willy is, like, outside. Yeah, I'm I'm fairly sure I have to kill the uh, King Cone, so I'm going to do that as quickly as possible. Also, does it count as me, like, using an entire day now because it was, like... I guess I should check in with Carlo about that. It's alive! Because it's been a day now. Maybe that was a terrible, terrible mistake. Day one. Okay. That's fine. I thought it would count as like day two, which would have been horrible. Why am I not doing any damage? Oh! The Bluss Bucket doesn't do damage to the... the ice cream. I didn't even know that. Oh, shit. Okay, that's not great. Well, I'm dead. Alright, alright. Well, I wasted a lot of time. So let's try that again.
That's fine. Yeah, nice. That's not bad at all. Though I did have 45 HP from, what, was that like one hit or was it more? Alright, I'm not even gonna heal up. I'm just gonna go. No, stop it. Stop it. God damn it, stop killing the bubbles. There we go. And then the cleaning thing. That doesn't even heal you. Oh, it does heal you. Interesting. And the match. And now this is started. And then, is it... Hold on, open the door. Get on the floor. Yep, here's the one that I want. Save here. And let's just quickly nab that Popa Chip card. Neat. Say goodbye to Carlo. And there was Willy. Oh yeah, you don't even need to get to the roof! There's like no reason. I need to eventually for the, the bucket, but I'm going away. Really? I'll never have to clean again. Yeah, that's absolutely nothing. Okay. Fair enough. But now we know, at least. So yeah, for now- wait, right! I need to go and, uh, go to, like, any random location. I think I have to go just to maybe floor two or three or something and then head right? And then I'll get the, the black cake. Because I want that so I can sell that and get some smirt. Is it this way? Yeah, exactly. Do you want a black cake? Why? That's none of your business! I think I said that last time, yeah. That just happened. And I do not give two flying fucks about one single happiness. Hey guy, you got your black cake. Uh, I guess I could open that door. Do I need to do that? If I don't open that door, can I not open it from the other side? I guess that doesn't matter, because I'll go through there anyway, so... It's probably fine. And now this thing... Thanks. Don't you have a train to catch? And now we should start doing... Basuka jumping. Or, well, just boosting, really. And let's see what the train is at. A lot of time. Like, it just left? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. That gives me time to go to the Blusser Islands and get the bucket recharge, I guess. So now, Black Cake is the same amount here. So yeah, let's just sell it. The Splank, I think that's the same amount. Ice Cream, I'm gonna sell that too. This might be a bad idea, but I'm gonna do it. This actually sells for more in uh, Popo City, so I'm gonna hold off on that. But yeah, that's a good amount of Smurt right away. And in a speedrun, you would use that for, uh, in the uh, Travis's shop, just to, like, instantly fill up the Popa City, uh, credit counter. But I don't really care about that. I still want to fight some Kneft infestations, I guess. Do I? I guess I did test the thing that I wanted to test, so maybe I don't care about it. But, I don't know, we'll see. 
maybe it's worth it to like get the film strips from uh, from Blosser Islands and Wondersplain, because those are so easy to get. Also, this guy had a garland, right? 80. That's a lot. I think I'll hold off on that and maybe get it from uh, from Popa City. Maybe I can fish it up or something if I'm lucky. I might be able to save scum a little bit on that. Because, yeah, I, I want to test that out. I know you can't attack back when you have it, which might be a problem, but you can still, like, use it and then, say, when Bankrin Phase 2 does the laughing attack, you can just, like, equip that and then not take any damage and then swap back to your weapon. Whenever you're like, oh shit, I'm going to take damage, there's nothing I can do, you can just do that. Teach me how to whistle. Don't think it matters how fast you do it. You just have to do it for a certain time. There we go. Maybe I should uh, kill the stoplight if it's like quite a long ways until uh, the train comes back because it was five minutes. It hasn't been five minutes. Let's let's try it. Let's kill off this guy and let's confirm. Yep, you can do it with this one as well. Of course you can. I should have stood on the other side. This was a mistake. I bet he's gonna like fucking one-shot you or something in this. That actually would kind of make sense if he just did like a hundred damage on a swing. Because it's a, it's a boss you don't ever have to get hit by. I don't even have to use the trick. This just makes sense, like, doing it this way. Wow, that was super easy. And I kind of thought he would drop some smurt. That's sort of why I killed him. I thought it was smurt and Wondrous Blank coins, but nope. But I guess that was quick enough and easy enough, and we will never know how much damage he does. And perfect timing. All right, that's pretty satisfying. Oh, if I can get in in time quickly now. Okay, it's just a cleaning crew going in. Yeah, alright, we're fine. And I might try saving at the cafe and seeing if I can, like, rush in, buy as many Blappuccinos as possible, and then just rush out. Because I don't think you have to fight the Merc boss, and I'm kind of curious what happens if... if the Merc boss shows up and you just leave, and then come back. What happens then? Is the Merc boss just gone? I haven't really experimented with that. Because I believe that's another thing that's, like, weird that the impossible run did. The, like, impossible speed run. They fought the Merc boss, I'm pretty sure. It was in one of them. Either impossible speed run or, uh, well, insane or any percent. One of them just fought the Merc boss, and I didn't really understand why. All right, here we are. So I'm just gonna quickly save. And let's try this. Ah, shit, okay, I was too slow. Uh, I don't really need to... need to buy that many, I guess. I'm just gonna buy as many Blappuccino as I can. What's happening? You can't... I saw in the speedrun they bought items. Hold on, let me test that again. That's weird. Maybe I have to, like, bring up my own smirt or something? Oh no, that doesn't even work, because 
I can't even close the menu. Yeah, it just doesn't work. Okay, but then if I just leave then, I can't. What did I see then? I definitely saw one run where they just didn't fight this guy. But I think they still got... Still got Black Pacino. Also, this is awful, awful, awful. Let's load the autosave. Do I have to, like, talk to this guy before it happens? Yep. Also, I think I realized now that you can, uh... You can shoot the smoke to, like, sort of shove it away, I think? I'm not entirely sure about that. Like, look at this. Yeah, you just, like, stop it from coming close. Well, I... It still got close. Also, on this attack, you can actually just get hit a bunch, stand here, and just do it. Oh man, okay, so impossible, insane mode. Insane mode is a bit faster, I'm trying to say. That is not the timing at all that I had gotten down for normal mode. But yeah, I still think you can do it. If you just keep double jumping, you might be able to avoid all of those shots. Maybe I should just buck it. Well, I'm fucking up the timing. I keep fucking up the timing. I keep fucking up the timing a lot. And I get smoked as well. Yeah, there we go. This is the timing. This attack is a little more unreliable. Probably not worth it to try and get that much damage in. Nice! Alright, well, I guess that's done. Um, is the guy gonna come back? Anytime soon? Guess you have to leave and come back. Wow, that was scary. One Blappuccino. I gotta check that speedrun, see if you could, like, skip out on it. Maybe that was patched or something, I don't know. Ooh, that's perfect. Lappuccino only. That should be quite a bit of smart. Nope. Get over here. Okay, he just screams from above. Don't let this happen again! Alright. And that's that. And now we finally... Have to wait some more, and then get into Popa City. Oh boy. Oh shit. Should've said let's go. Holy moly, that was one single fucking kneft! Jesus Christ! Two hits and you die? That is ridiculous. Let's get a coffee hat. Oh, watch out. Oh boy. Um, should I get some hooks? I guess there's not really much point, is there? Because I'm going to use uh, quality hooks. Oh. Thought you could jump through here. What the hell just fired that bullet? Was that me? Like, it teleported from the other screen? 
Well, still got there in time before the tram arrived. So, I should have probably just gone instead of getting those, uh, those hooks. That was pretty pointless. Though I guess I kind of need them for uh, Red Avkned's guest house anyway, so... Suppose it's fine. Don't remember what the speedrun uses for that. Alright, now we get to rain and money again. And once again, they went into Stodopap, like, once, and I don't know why. That is, there's something weird about that, I think. So yeah, purple fruit, 26, exactly. It's way more here than it is up there. And I guess the cone... I can always just buy, like, fried kneft or fried smack muffles. That's probably a better food source. So sure, let's, uh, let's just sell this. Almost a thousand, not quite. And now... Let's buy... The Popo Hat, two fishing hooks, and... Uh, yeah, I guess I want to get some coupons for, for the legendary hook. That's probably a good idea. This thing I should probably buy as well. But I might get it from fishing, so I'll hold off for now. We'll see what I get from fishing. But there we go. That's that's kind of it. And I'm just gonna save here. And I guess before next time I'll try to fish up an upgrade. And maybe I can try and fish up either a mining helmet or the uh, beautifully crafted garland. Because again, I want to test that out. So that could be an idea. But thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, progressing fairly quickly at least, so yeah, insane mode probably won't take that much more. But then again, getting closer to that 100, am I gonna reach it? No clue. See you next time. Bye-bye!